Hello, 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 happy crafters, and welcome to my craft room. Yes, this is my craft room. And my craft room is definitely my happy place, just like the sign says. Not only am I going to share my craft room with you, but I'll also share with you 25 of my favorite organization tips for the craft room. It all just goes away. The things I plan to say. Oh, baby. about signs and rules Oh The pavement and the long, long roads Yeah And you're always in such a rush mm. With your life playing from the stereo Oh 
had it but all alone mm. And you're always staring at your phone Alright, so that was just like a panoramic view of my craft room and my craft room is not huge. The square footage is about 10 feet by 11 feet. It's just a regular bedroom that I turned into a craft room because all of our kids have grown up and moved out. So now we have extra bedrooms and the extra bedroom upstairs has become my craft room. And this has definitely been a work in progress over the last couple of years. But I think I finally have it to the point of where I have lots of storage and it makes me really happy. So now that you've seen the tour of the craft room, let me show you some of my organization things that I have done in here. So as you can see, I have a lot of paint brushes. <laughs> lots and lots of paint brushes. And I found this caddy at Goodwill and I wasn't sure what I was going to use it for. And I was like, you know what? That would work perfect for all of my paint brushes. It has four individual little containers. So, so if I want to take one of the containers out, I can and put it over on my craft table when I'm crafting, or I can just take the entire thing to my craft table, or I can just leave it sit here and grab some of the paint brushes as I need them for my craft. I also made this paintbrush holder using tumbling tower blocks or Jenga blocks. And it was actually a really easy craft and I like how it turned out. I think it's really cute and it does hold a fair amount of paint brushes. I have to say, I think I probably have more paint brushes than anything, but you never know what kind of paint brush you're gonna need for a craft. So I like to make sure that I have everything that I'm going to need. Now, something else that's really handy for painting are these little paint trays. So I can put my paint into the trays and not waste excess amounts of paint. But keeping them all together was proving to be a challenge. So I just used a Dollar Tree crate and I painted it and then stained it a little bit just to make it look nice. And this way I can keep my paint trays out and I know where they're at at all times. Now this is a paint caddy or I guess a craft caddy that I made and this is like one of my most favorite DIY projects. I do have a video and I'll leave a link to it in case you want to make this for yourself but it does not live here all the time. Usually I have this on my crafting table when I'm doing a craft. There is so much storage in this craft caddy. I have four of these little cups which hold glue sticks and then just things that I might possibly need. I love these large craft sticks, so those are in there for now. But it also holds a lot of paints. And these are just acrylic organizers from the Dollar Tree, and each one holds three paints. Now, I did have somebody leave a comment one time and say that I shouldn't store my paints like that because I'm just asking for trouble, but honestly, I have never had an issue with the paints like leaking out or anything, so Maybe I'm just lucky, but I'm not going to change what I'm doing because it works for me. And then the top actually and the bottom of this craft caddy are just Dollar Tree charger plates. And the top layer, it holds a lot too. And then in the center of that, I've taken one of those Dollar Tree paintbrush or pen holders, and that is holding more of my paintbrushes. And I also like to put my little clamps. These are Dollar Tree clamps they fit perfectly onto the paintbrush holder. And then to make more use of the space, the little finger protectors, I just rest those on top of the clamps. So if I can keep this organized, it does work really well. It's actually really easy to move too. So it's not terribly heavy and I can move it from where it's sitting right here to my craft table without any problems. And because I love paint so much and I have so many of them, I actually made this little organizer to hold paints as well. This one is not on a Lazy Susan because I didn't have one, but that is something that you can do. And all these are, are pen holders or I think pencil holders from the Dollar Tree. And I just glued them together, put a little top on it, put a bottom on it. And I have a very nice paint holder, which would probably be nicer with a Lazy Susan, but this works just fine. And it does hold a lot of paints. But no, we're not quite done yet. I have another paint caddy that I made and this is using the same pencil pen holders from the Dollar Tree. There's just a lot more of them and I couldn't get all of the same colors, so I did paint these 
with a black paint first and then I took it outside and gave it a coat of silver paint and I found that by painting it black first and then putting the silver spray paint on it it really made it shiny so definitely more of a chrome appearance that it would have had if I had just left it as it was but this holds so many two ounce paint bottles and again I've stored my paints like this forever and have never had any issues with it leaking. So if you're thinking about making something like this, just make sure that your paint lids are screwed on tightly and you shouldn't have any problems. Now right next to my desk, my desk is right there, but right next to my desk I have this little craft caddy and I use this for keeping my projects that I'm currently working on, like this guy or this is going to be in an upcoming project and this guy is going to be in an upcoming project but it's nice to keep things on this little caddy because it's close proximity to my desk and it holds a lot now i have taken some of the dollar tree square boxes and put them on the second level and again these are for an upcoming craft i have some gloves which sometimes i wear sometimes i don't and this box is empty right now so i'm not sure what i'm going to put into that one but I also like to keep my vinyl close by because I use my craft table for when I'm working on vinyl. So a lot of the bigger vinyls that I have in my transfer tape, I keep down here. That way it has a home and I always know where it is as long as I put it back. And I do also keep a bottle of the Dollar Tree bathroom cleaner. I just dilute it and I use a half of one of those refills and it works really well for cleaning up all of my craft messes. I have my little mini vacuum. I have my remote because yes, I do have a TV in my craft room, which is really nice. I'm pretty lucky that way, I think. And just some odds and ends for when I'm crafting. And it is on wheels, so it makes it really easy to move around. Even though this room has carpet, this is still pretty easy to move around as I'm showing you I'm moving it with one hand. Now, if you do a lot of Cricut crafts, you probably have a lot of Cricut mats. So what I like to do is use the space of my craft desk, craft table, and this is where I hang up all of my Cricut mats. It makes it easy so they're out of the way, but they're also easy for me to access when I'm getting ready to do crafting. And the one that is behind my desk where I'm working usually, it also is holding the extension cords. And one of the extension cords is actually for my camera. So when I do overhead camera work, I have that arm that makes it really easy. And these little hooks are really, really helpful. I believe I got them on Amazon. They were super affordable, but they're great for the craft room. Lots of different uses for them. And since I showed you some of my craft table, let me show you my entire craft table. Now my husband and I made this. It was super easy to make. These are those cube units that you can find on Amazon or Walmart. They have the cheapest ones. So it's three of those cubes. So you can see there's this one, then this one, and then the final one. And what we did was just make it so that the cubes were on the outside. So this gives me a lot of storage. Lots of storage. And then the top, I actually found this on Amazon. They have different sizes you can choose from. So I chose to make it have a little bit of an overhang and this is where my crafting chair sits so this is usually where I'm sitting when I'm doing my crafts and for me the craft table was the most important part of my craft room and I wanted to have lots of storage it is a little bit larger but it works really well in this space and it is pretty easy to move once all of the shelves are emptied out and of course I do have a video showing you step by step how I did this and how easy it was to make so I will leave a link in case you are curious or you wanted to make your own craft table. It's really not that hard. And it is a lot more affordable to make one to DIY it than it is to buy one that's pre-made. And to go along with my craft table, I have a chair and this is a bar height chair. It has arms that do come down. But 90% of the time I have these arms up, which I do like that I am able to keep them up. So that way I can sit here and craft. I can make the chair higher or lower. It totally spins. And these, I think my husband got these on Amazon. 
They weren't horribly expensive. I think they were around $100 or $115, but that was a long time ago. <laughs> so I'm not sure if it's still the same price, but I will try to find the link and leave that down below in case you are curious about this chair. Now in my craft room, I, I have lots of different storage, but I just wanted to show you, you can get creative and you can use things like mason jars for storing small things. Right now I have some tea lights and just some little mini guys and then some some beads but it's nice to have extra storage because it keeps those little guys together and that way I know where they are again as long as I put things away and if you don't have a lot of storage boxes or you're trying to save money you can make them this is actually a cardboard box that I just put an old t-shirt over and then I put another material on the inside so that way I have some extra storage and this was really easy to make. And another affordable storage option are these clear acrylic containers. These are actually made for the refrigerator. I like them because they're clear and I can see what I have in these storage bins. So lots of woodworking stuff, some succulents, some candle holders, flowers, more wood blanks lots of Dollar Tree blanks too. But these were really affordable on Amazon. And if I remember correctly, they came in a pack of six. So I have, there's six there, three there, three down there. So I have two packages of six, but these actually store a lot. They're really handy. And again, they're clear so you can see through them. Okay, now this is one of my, I am so proud of this. I'm I have so many silk flowers, so many silk flowers. And these guys, they are actually just in a laundry basket. But if you get a round laundry basket at Dollar Tree, turn it upside down, you can use this for flower storage. Now, yes, it's gonna be a little bit difficult to find the exact stem that I'm wanting for a project, but it's a lot nicer to keep the flowers up high and they're out of the way but they're not taking up space on the floor in my craft room. I have stored them like in a corner in the past, but I am so much happier having them up here. They're out of the way and they're not taking up valuable storage space. Now on my latest makeover that I was doing for my craft room, I really wanted to either DIY one of those dream cabinets, dream closets. I'm not sure what they're called, but I really wanted one of those, but they are like, they're like $2,000. So I decided instead that I was just going to get some bookshelves, bring them into my craft room and put everything onto the bookshelves. And I'm actually happier with it. So these bookshelves were about $50. Some of them came from Walmart. So the, the smaller ones, they came from Walmart. I think those were $26. And the two deeper ones, I got those on Amazon and they were around $55 but these bookshelves have given me so much storage. And then I just get a little bit creative of how I use each of the shelves. And honestly, I think this is just as nice as one of those dream cabinets that are like $2,000. If somebody can help me remember what those are called, leave a, leave a comment down below. Let me know because I don't wanna call it the wrong thing. But for less than $200, I got a ton of storage. And that is a lot better than spending $2,500. I don't think I've spent $2,500 on everything that's in my craft room from the table, even my Cricut or my auto heat press, probably even the TV. I'm pretty sure there's not $2,500 worth of stuff in here. And I was just talking about my Cricut maker, my Cricut machine and it lives on this cart. This is a cart from Amazon, and I think it's called the Honey Can Do cart. It's a storage cart. It is on wheels. What's nice about this is all of the little storage bins. I don't think mine are completely organized, but this is where I keep all of my vinyl and the heat transfer vinyl, a lot of extra ribbon and material. Yeah, not some of these, some of these drawers aren't too organized. There's my glitter, Ooh. a bunch of odds and ends, Valentine's crafts, more vinyl, 
and HTV. Now I did take the time to print out labels for two of the drawers because I didn't want to confuse the HTV vinyl with the regular or permanent vinyl. What's nice about this cart is it also comes with like this side organizer, which is it's fabric and it's just Velcroed onto the side of the cart, but it's got all of these little pockets. So this is where I keep all of my electronic stuff or any extra cords or anything. So everything is mostly organized. At least I know where the electronic stuff is. Now this is the closet for the bedroom or my craft room. So I went ahead and we removed the doors because I didn't really want the doors. And then I just put the extra cube organizers that I had in here with the remaining bins that I had. Now, some of these cubes, they don't have bins, but this is kind of overflow area anyway. So I don't necessarily need bins. And some of the items are too large for bins, but I do have some bins. And these bins were a part of my original craft room when I very first started. And these came from Sam's Club, believe it or not. It was like $12 for all of those teal colored bins. But it was really handy because the cubes fit perfectly into this closet. I did remove the closet rod that was here just so I could have some more space. And then I do use the overhead shelf for extra storage too. Not very organized, but extra storage up there. It's where I keep all of my yarn and different blanks or planters, glassware, things that I'm going to be using in upcoming crafts. Now for the storage bins in my craft desk, I got these at Dollar Tree. They're not huge and they don't fill up the entire space, but they are very handy and they are great for storing small things. Like I have some glassware in there, ribbons in there. This one's just kind of odds and ends, but then I can also still store things on the side. So I've got lots of wood projects that I can store and even over here, I've got a couple of plates. And this one's empty just because those baskets are really big. But those plastic bins are really nice for cube storage. But Dollar Tree also has the folding bins. Now I like the half size ones and I got all of these at Dollar Tree. Like I said, I like the half size ones because then I can see what's inside the bin and it makes it much easier to keep track of the things that I have. Now, when we first made this a craft room, my husband and I made this pegboard and I didn't think about it at the time, but I wish I would have made a video to show you how easy it is to make something like this. And then we just hung it on the wall and secured it in place with some screws. But this pegboard organizer has been so helpful and I actually have a couple of shelves on it and I can just put so many things on here and I would highly, highly recommend if you have a craft room or if you're going to have a craft room, having some type of pegboard organizer is so nice. Lots of vertical storage. So I'm using a lot of the wall space that I probably wouldn't have been able to use in my craft room. Again, that's just a tip of if you're trying to make the most of a small space, a pegboard that you can hang up is amazing. And this was really affordable to make. It's two pieces of pegboard you can see in the center so they're two feet wide four feet long so we bought two of those and then the sides are just furring strips so very affordable to make something like this for your own craft room now dollar tree has lots of acrylic holders too so this is a really nice affordable way to make some storage too and again a dollar 25 and I can keep all of my wood beads together. It's, it's very handy to have. This one has three compartments in each one and they do fit flush mostly against each other. So they take up less space. So that, so the acrylic organizers at Dollar Tree are really nice for your crafting supplies. And also my magazine racks that I have hanging on the wall. These are so helpful. This is where I keep all of my silicone mats as well as my Cricut cutter. Some sublimation paper that I found on Amazon. I think there's some <laughs> calendars in here too for craft projects, but this is really nice to have. And I like how it's close proximity to my desk so I can easily reach it when I'm crafting. Magazine racks are an excellent way to store stuff in your craft room. Now here is another pegboard organizer, actually two of them. 
This one I got at Dollar Tree. So it's two of the pegboards and then a bunch of the little hooks. And they also have shelves. So I bought two shelves and put onto that pegboard. And then this pegboard organizer, this is where I keep all of my Cricut tools. I got this on Amazon. So the pegboard, there's two of them. And then I actually bought that frame so it would look nice. But hindsight being 2020, this one works just as well. And it doesn't really need to have a frame. So I was trying to be fancy and I do like it but it's not really necessary. So the Dollar Tree pegboard and all of the tools that they have, the hooks and the shelves is a much better deal. But again, I have that on the other side of my craft table, making it easy for me to reach. And when you have storage that is easy to use, you're going to use it more. At least that's what I found. So I'm really happy with having the pegboard on this side of my desk and then the magazine racks on the other side of my desk. Oh, and I almost forgot to show you my paint organizer. It's made from Dollar Tree supplies. These are just those little saying things and I turned them upside down so it holds the paint in and it's not gonna fall off the shelf. But that was really easy to make. And again, close proximity to my desk. And another Dollar Tree find is this over the door hook. This is where I like to store all of my blanks or all of the signs that I get from Dollar Tree. And that little hanger holds a lot. There are so many pieces on here, <laughs> so many of them. And of course I do have extras, so they are hanging up behind the door. And again, I'm just using nails to keep these pieces out of sight and a little bit more neat and tidy. Now I wanted to show you my lighting system. So I have to turn the lights off, otherwise you'll be blinded. But these are just light cords because there's no overhead lights in this room. So I got two of these light cords on Amazon. And then these are LED bulbs that are 250 watt equivalent bulbs. So it really lights up the space very nicely because doing crafts in the dark, and I mean, it's not dark, but this is definitely darker than I usually have it when I'm crafting, makes a huge difference. So let me show you, I'm going to turn the lights on. Super bright. So 250 equivalent watt bulbs that I got on Amazon and then the light cords. And since I don't have an overhead light, I actually have the cords plugged in to the switch plate that's activated with that, I think I'm just gonna say this is like a Dollar Tree video because <laughs> I have more Dollar Tree storage. So these are just plastic bins from the Dollar Tree that I can keep small things organized in. And then these are shelves from the Dollar Tree. So I literally doubled the shelving space, allowing me more room to store things. I have some more of those little wood bins for some different wood glues. And then again, these are just storage containers that I got. A Dollar Tree. They're awesome. That is my craft room tour and how I like to keep my craft room organized. Now I've said this a lot and I always tell myself this that if everything has a home it makes it a lot easier to keep things neat and tidy and organized. Now does my craft room look like this all of the time? Absolutely not. But I do find if I put things away after I'm done using them it makes it a lot easier and it just keeps it nice and tidy and it makes me super happy to come in here because this is definitely my happy place and I love being in this room. And I hope that I've given you some motivation to give yourself a craft room and hopefully I showed you how affordable you can actually make something like this. It's not hard. It just takes a little bit of work on your part. And yes, it does take a little bit of money, but it's not super expensive. And if I forgot to mention anything and you had any questions, please let me know. But I'm also really curious, what are your favorite ways to store things in your craft room? I know there's a lot of different ways and I am always looking for ideas of how I'm going to stay organized. And I think we can all use a little help in that aspect, don't you? So if you have any ideas, please leave a comment below and share your wisdom with the rest of us so we can have nice and organized craft rooms too. You got it,
that I 